I'm Ian Rush and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. Special little show bringing to you now because of the news there. They've announced that Luis Garcia, Lucho, 14 Garcia, for those of you who only know him on Twitter, um, announced his retirement from football, which is actually quite... Quite sad news, isn't it? Like, you mean, I, I mean, not like it's not devastating like the day Jamie Carragher retired or anything like. But um, I wanted to have a, a couple of minutes just to just to remember the the good days, the good things that he did. I mean, Chris, for, for you, what we what, what what does Luis Garcia mean to you? He's all about flair and unpredictability and just great goals, really, and, and one goal in particular, the ghost goal. <laughs> of course, um, Talksport were actually trying to drag that up earlier. They were saying like, look, email and tweet in. It was it was it a goal? I, I said yes, it was a goal. Yeah, the record books it state it was a goal. Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, sorry, Chelsea fans. It, it was a goal. If it hadn't been a goal, it would have been a penalty in the centre. So there you go. <laughs> so that's, the, that's the thing that always gets forgotten about in that argument, isn't it? Mourinho can say it's a good goal. They shouldn't. Have. Yeah, we actually you did you a favour. Yeah. Doing everything in that match yeah, you kept because with eleven men on the Yeah, you'd have gone down. It was what four minutes in something really early, wasn't it? You'd have had the keeper off. He was the best keeper in the world at the time, and we'd have had a pen, got Gerard on pen, so we probably would have scored it. Mm. So stop moaning. That's true. The funny thing about Garcia, Dad, is that, like, obviously, we look back and we remember we still, we still we love the, 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 the Sangria song, mm. and, and, and looking back at all his great moments, but he was a phenomenally frustrating player for, for the, the more <coughs> often more often than not. And you, I have um, friends and relatives who used to call him for everything uh, because he, they thought he was. Um, a little bit effeminate, a little bit lightweight, <laughs> and uh, he was at times infuriating mostly because he tried things uh, which didn't always come off. Yeah. But the fact that he tried things, that when they came off, they were just sensational. You always used to say, similar to sort of Daglish Suarez does it now, is that he turns into the man. Which you should never do in football. You shouldn't take it because it's the, the you guaranteed shield, way. You shield the ball from the defender to stop them getting it, but world class players don't. They, they actually go at the defender. Yeah. Turn the ball into them and that dis discombobulates them. I mean, there's a good point, isn't there? Because he's, he, is he is one of those players, and we've had many of them over the years, that if you're the type of person who is inclined to hate players on your own team, he was like number one, target number one in that little yeah, because side. Because when he when it didn't work, which was more often than not, <laughs> he get ball he get the ball away. But it was it was in those close games that I always seem to remember. Where I might be remembering it wrong, but it was in the close games where he did it's something and he pulled it off. Juventus. Yeah. yeah, and it, it that's the difference between the sublime and the ridiculous almost. And he always seems to hit sublime against the really important yeah. teams. He gave, he gave you um, the unpredictable, which is always impossible to stop. Yeah. And that is something we've lacked for a long time. Now, someone who would until Suarez, Suarez yeah. Yeah. you know, you get something like that totally out of the blue, and it you know takes the game from being a boring nil nil to being a, you know you one nil up. It's interesting, isn't it? Because we, we essentially replaced them with Ben Ayoun. And Ben Ayoun, it, although there were so many similarities, I always thought that you, Ben Ayoun was far more dependable. He was more reliable. You knew you knew what you were going to get from Ben Ayoun, yeah. whereas Garcia was it was an enigma. And it's lovely to have that. I also Quality. thought that Ben Ayun, you're exactly right, he was more predictable. He only seemed to produce against the lesser teams yeah. for me. Ben Ayun, when there was a clear goal from class, that's when Ben Ayun was at his best because he'd be able to break them the down. The net resulting goals and assists was probably exactly the Similar. same, but how they, how they went about achieving it was completely a polar opposite almost. Now, I, I mean, I love I loved Louis Garcia, he gave us, as you say, Juventus. Chelsea cropped up with cropped up with Wales. I mean Norwich very early on into his yeah. into his Liverpool career. He was part of those two fantastic cup wins for Benitez's team, wasn't he? So he's always, always going to be a, like you think of Garcia. Yeah. I don't think if you think of Rafa, Rafa Benitez, you instantly think of Garcia. With, you think of Garcia, and you're going to think of the Champions League, and you're going to think of the FA Cup. And I do think of the the Spanish connection to Liverpool with mm -hmm. you know Xabi and um, Garcia. And uh, Pepe and all that, you know, it was, that was all part of that era. It was brilliant. Yeah, no, and, it was absolutely and fantastic. He's not going to get two minutes when Nunes retires. He's not going to get a two minute special on the <laughs> red. <laughs> talking about him, is he? He's probably already retired. Does anyone know what else Antonio Nunes doing these days? Let us know. Probably a butcher somewhere. Yeah, he was a lawyer. Was he? Yeah, he was a lawyer. He's probably going to sue us. He did the. Is this behind the paywall? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> no, um, but uh, no, I, it's just we were discussing on the um, 
On the Reds News Roundup, we've got another trans- very transfer, January transfer window focus show on RedmenTV.com. We're just what Liverpool squad's lacking, and we are totally and utterly lacking someone of that calibre, I think, in the squad. Someone who's not like, not world class, but is a good, solid experience, international class, and has played at the highest level. You know, we got him from Barcelona, and, and, he, and he played like, a, like, he, like he'd learned all, his, all the tricks of the trade from the best in the world. He scored five goals for, what, for Spain in one game. Mm. Yeah. He, was, he, was a, he, was a, he was a class athlete, and it's, it's a shame that he's, he's passed off as well. In fact, he's How old was he when he retired? I think he's mid-30s. Like, I was reading his letters, and he was going, 17-year career, I'm thinking, he's 17 year you could have bloody hell. Yeah, you could have had a seventeen-year career, then, being that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you'd, have start, you'd, have, you'd have had to start at Freddie at your age, like you know what I mean. But um, <laughs> no, uh, let us know. Uh, please let me know in the comment section underneath uh, your favourite Garcia moment. So I said you was. I think one that people will forget, of course, is um, Carragher's testimonial. He scored an absolute world oh, yeah. in that, didn't he? Just picked the ball up. Off the shoulder and bent it into the far corner like he'd never, like he'd never left. Never and everyone was like, away. I wonder if we can get him back. But no, <coughs> one of those great little players. You'll never go down as like a Liverpool legend. He was a cult hero, though. Yeah, wasn't he? I think he was the he was the, the peak of, of cult heroes because he was he was Bosch and he's probably dad yeah. Silver's dad, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> He's certainly the mole. Anyway, yeah, let us know. Let us know your thoughts on Lewis Garcia in the comment section of these. And yeah, if you want to watch more uh, Redman TV goodness, we're going to be discussing Liverpool's transfer prospects in far greater deal, uh, detail on the RedmenTV.com and the Reds News Roundup show this week. So check that out. It's free for a month, and after that, it's just £2 a month. So you've got nothing to lose, essentially, by trying it. So go for it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you just want to watch on YouTube and you can't be out anymore, that, give it a thumbs up, give it a subscribe on YouTube, that's free, and, and, and share it on social media stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching and goodbye.